Hi everybody, Keith Best here once again. And in this video, I'm actually going to go through and look at the import and export facility, but for the Magic Field Spin Tech shortcodes and that sort of thing. Okay, so as you can see, we've got none in here at the moment. I'll just refresh. So we've got no X fields, anything like that. And so obviously, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to import them. So you go to settings, you go to import export, and you go to import and export data. I showed you the other two tabs in a previous video, but this is for the import and export data. So we're going to import the data. Now, you can't edit this data yourself and create a file and then import it like you can with the locations and things like that. This is in a specialist format, uh, so you can't obviously just knock a file together and import it. Um, so you would need to have an export first, but we'll do the import. So X fields, you click on which one you want, whether you want to do X fields and spin text shortcodes and location sets. Now location sets, I don't ever use a location sets because you've got to have the exact same location set up in the file you're importing, which the chances are you're not going to have because you'll be making a different site. Um, so I only ever use the X fields and the spin text shortcodes. And as it says, you can drag and drop a file there. Okay, so found the file. If I just drop it on here, and it will say that. Now I want just overwrite. Now we wait for the little success button come up in the top right hand corner. Once that's there, then it's been imported. So we go to magic page. We go to edit. And what you will see is you've got all of these X fields now. And we've got these meta titles. So if I now create this one and we do this as meta descriptions and save. Yeah, so we've added this one on. And what I'll do, I'll export this one and then show you what there the difference is. I need to save that. Okay, so we go back to settings. We go to import export. Now the reason this is useful is because like we've got there, I've got a load of um, X fields and Spintex shortcodes. Now, I might not have created this as an evergreen site, but I might want to use them. So what I can do is I can just go to import, export, and now I'll go to export the data. I want to export the Spintex shortcodes and the X fields. So then I do export. It goes away, builds the files, and then says download them. So if I put them into where they're going now, uh, Magic 21st, okay. So if I just do save that. Now I'll open the file just so you can see why you can't edit it. Because basically, if we do that, wrong one. If we do that, you'll see that the file is what's known as a serialized file. And to do that by hand would actually be a nightmare. Okay, so that's why you can't really edit them. But if I now go back to here, um, where we've got magic page, And we go to locations. Now, if I just go to here and just go, bing, 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 bing. If 
Recommendation, get rid of that, get rid of that. So again, I've got no X fails in this one. But say this was a, a different file, or I should say a different uh, website. So I've ex exported that one from my site, which is like sort of live now. And I'm creating uh, my evergreen site. So I'm going to go to import, export, import, export data, import data, X fails, spin text show codes, and find my file. which is there, drop it in, where it comes up, go for right, wait for the success in the top, there we go, we've got the success, go to the magic page, and then we can edit. And we've got all of them back in again. Okay, so that's basically all it is. It's nice and simple, but it's very powerful because, like I say, if you've created a site and you want to add new X fields to it, you can do. You can just add them X fields because you can merge them or you can overwrite them. When you do the merging, if you have two with the four say the four number then the one that you merge will take over so if this one is one two three four five six and you have another field with the four number of in fact let's do it so if we've got here let's uh let's create edit this so this is two three four five six seven and save it. So we've got that X field phone number. And now if we do that, okay, so we've got that. And let's put another a new X field in. So if we do this is new. Test and update. Okay, so we've got that new X field and we've got this number set to two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now if I just get rid of some of these, just so you can see what happens when you do a merge. Okay, so we've got them. Get rid of that one as well. So we've got number and test. And do update. So go to settings again. Import, export. Import, export. Import, X fields, spin text, short codes. So I'm going to drag the file across again, exact same file. Put it in there. Now this time I'm going to click on the merge. Okay. So we click on the merge. Again, we wait for the success in the top. We've got success. Magic page. Edit. Scroll down. We've still got X field. This is a this is new and the test. We've got X field four number, but if you notice it's now gone to one, two, three, four, five, six. But then we have all of these other fields. Okay. So if you've got an existing site, but you want to add new X fields, then this is perfect. The same with the, would be the same with the meta descriptions. Just make sure that when you are adding them, they don't have something the same 
Otherwise, the one that merges will take over from the one that was there before. Okay, hope that was useful. Catch you on the next video. Bye.